Well, hello everybody. Tonight I'm out capturing NGC 6888, and that's the Crescent Nebula, as you can see in my screen, Exposure hopefully. Finished. And tonight I'm actually capturing just oxygen uh, for this Exposure one. Started. I've already captured about two hours of oxygen already, and I've already captured about two hours of hydrogen alpha, so I'm actually doing an HOO. Uh, image of this uh, nebula. I've done this before and I think I did it years and years ago and I think I did it with a UHC filter and I may have done it also with just HA and uh, RGB data but this time I want to do an HOO image. I've seen really good images of this and it's just showing that nice blue cast. With So I'm, I'm actually going to capture more oxygen data than HA da data so when I'm all said and done. Let's take a look and see what this does and there we go. I'm gonna scroll in so I'm zoomed in and there is my uh, data zoomed in it looks like the stars are nice and circular. Now let's take a look at the guiding here and guiding seems okay uh, total is 0.17 and 0.3 over here in the parentheses. So it looks like the guidance is pretty good. So everything's looking good. We'll see what the data looks like. Maybe I'll boot this up when I am actually doing the processing. Anyways, see you later. Yeah, wouldn't you know it? I, did, I no sooner said everything's going perfectly well. And all of a sudden, clouds moved in out of this uh, per supposedly perfectly clear night. And let me show you what er, that blipping sound you hear is my guiding. You see how the guiding's all going out all whack? And it it's going to wig out. It goes blip like that. That's what happens when clouds move in, <laughs> in case you guys wonder what's going on. And you can see how it messes up the uh, guiding. So it doesn't look like it's too thick, so hopefully these clouds are going to pass. So, yeah, I, I no sooner said that, and also the clouds moved in. Oh, I should also mention that the moon is out tonight. That's another reason why I'm not shooting color, uh, normal RGB. It's uh, 74%, so it, it's down low, so it's not too bad, but uh, so that's why I'm shooting the oxygen, though, because it's not really affected by the moon. Anyways, just thought I'd show you what, it, what, it, what happens when clouds move in. Okay, well welcome back. And it did clear up. And right now, I'm... I've turned it back on because it looks like it's going to do a automatic meridian flip. And so I thought I'd show you how that thing, how that works out. It's on a pre flip delay and it's it's the way I've got it set up right now I've got it on a, a five minute pre flip delay and so that's what this thing is right up here so I'm gonna pause it right now for a minute until it gets lower and then we'll um, see if it works okay well I'm back and this pre-flip delay is doing a countdown now. It's 42, 41. So you can see that, that the timer is right here. So this would be kind of neat if it works. It should do the flip. It turned off guiding. It's going to do a flip and it should turn guiding back on and then resume the rest of the uh, program, the imaging sequence.
done doing its thing. Now let's see if this guiding business is started PhD to guiding. Change. Exposure started. And there it is. Let's take a look at the guiding here. Okay, looks like we're back in business. Okay, I just wanted to uh, show you how the Meridian Flip is working. It seems to be working pretty well. So, anyways, we'll see you later. Hello, everybody. I'm back. It's a few nights later, and I'm done with this image now. So, here is my HA data, which I, after it's stacked, and I wound up with approximately three hours of HA, and I think it looks pretty good. And this is the oxygen data, and I actually wound up with five hours of oxygen data. And this is what the stacked Im both of the stacked images looked like separately. I then, in a nutshell, I did the automatic background extraction on these, and here's the HA, and here's the oxygen after doing the automatic background extraction. Then what I did was I combined them using channel combination. So what you would do for channel combination is you would open it up and you would, I put in for the red, I put in the HA and for the green, I put in oxygen and for the blue, I also put in oxygen. That's where you get the uh, HOO image from. So anyways, when I did that, I wound up getting this. So it doesn't look too bad. Well, it, it, it looks something like this. Uh, then what I did was I did some more stuff in PixInsight. One of the things I did was use that PGV noise reduction. So I reduced the noise uh, quite significantly. Okay, and then I took that and I went into Photoshop. So, and what I did for Photoshop or one of the things, I did a variety of things in Photoshop. One of the things I did was I did the local contrast enhancement. I did some sharpening and noise reduction under sharpen, and I went down in here and smart sharpen and did some stuff with it. And I did some other noise reduction uh, in here, that deep space noise reduction. And I think I did some color, star color enhancement. So I just played around with Photoshop for a little while. Oh, I also, one big thing that I did in Photoshop was I took the background and in levels, I lowered the levels a bit. So I did something like that. And this is what I wound up with after playing around with it. In Photoshop, I wound up with this, which is, looks pretty good. And then I went back in to PixInsight. So I took that image and went back into PixInsight. Let me close some of these other ones out. I'm not going to go through everything I did, but just some of the highlights. And I took that image and I made a luminosity uh, mask. And I did some tweaking with the with the background. I, I actually did another noise reduction, uh, TGV noise reduction uh, in here. And then I brought it back into Photoshop. And I removed some of the stars, not removed some of the stars, I did a, a make stars smaller function in Photoshop. And I did some more tweaking. I think I did another noise reduction and I did some color enhancements. I, I tried to bring out the nebulosity more. I, I made this a deeper red, tried to bring out the blues from the oxygen, which is what I was really after, and enhanced some of the, these strands, these waves over here. And I brought it back into Photoshop again, I mean, PixInsight again, and made another luminosity mask as well as a star mask uh, because I made the star mask because what I did was I did a, another 
power removal function, if you will, using that morphological transformation uh, tool. And then I finally brought it back into Photoshop and did some more noise reduction, little tweaking. And I also, I took some of these larger stars. They had big halos around it. Let me show you here. So you can see this star over here that has that halo down here. You can see it. And a couple other ones up here, I did the same thing. If you look at the final images, those halos are significantly reduced, if not gone. So that's what I was doing. That was quite tedious work to do that. I'll show you what I did uh, on a later. That, that's another tutorial. <laughs>